Chris will start off with uh, young R Blaster and, and his ankle. How's it looking? Has he still got a chance for the weekend? Uh, no, he hasn't. No, so um, it's an ongoing situation, so we miss him. Um, but part and parcel of um, what the game's all about, so we have to we have to deal with it. And I thought we dealt with it admirably last Saturday against Derby. Have you got any idea on time scale? Not yet? really. No, no idea on the time scale. A couple of updates on some of the other players, Robinson and, and Davis. How are they getting on? Yeah, well, you might see it today um, if you, uh, you look at our, um, our our clips of of, of training. They've both been introduced back into into training. So we're delighted that both of those boys um, they've got a huge part to play with us this season. Um, but knows about Jack and his influence around the place and what he he, he does um, from uh, from a playing point of view. And Tom Davies has no way seen uh, anything like what he can produce. And uh, we'll be absolutely delighted when we get them back uh, fully uh, integrated into the first team group. And um, two massive players coming back into the group will will no doubt help us to try and win games of football. Is it fair to say it might take a little bit of time just to get them up to speed, so we're not really going to be expecting this weekend? No, no, 100%. I think, you know, Tom will, Tom's going to have sort of two or three weeks back, you know, training and then mini pre-season. I think everybody's got, you know, got to understand that as well. It's, you know, when players go away from the summer, usually pretty fit um, and conditioned, they go away and they come back and they need, you know, four or five weeks of pre-season training. So I think especially for Tom, uh, missing all pre-season, maybe not so long for for, for Jake, but uh, yeah, I'm not so sure that um, you know we're looking maybe next international break, uh, sort of the back end of that. So keep everybody healthy, uh, keep everybody fit, and those two boys coming back will be a huge boost. Certainly will. They'll, uh, they'll both have a, a job on getting in the team, particularly when you, when you look at Jack and the, the the role that he was given with how Harry's come in and done so well. Yeah, um, that's good for us. Um, you know. I've talked a lot about you know the strength of the squad, um, and it's a tight, tight group. So um, we have to make sure, from a conditioning point of view and the load point of view, that we give the players the right amount uh, and top ups. There was a, a behind closed doors game against uh, Mansfield's first team on, on Tuesday. Good to see Nigel Clough back in back at Sheffield United. He's a great guy. Got a lot of time and respect for him. Um, and uh, and Stephen Quinn was in there as well. Um, so uh, the the boys that have not been playing. A lot in the first team. It's been a pretty settled side. Had a had the uh, opportunity of getting some vital minutes under the belt, which they'll need. So keeping them healthy, uh, keeping everybody together, keeping everybody fit, and as you said, the, you know the, the likes of Jack and Tom coming back in will just boost the group, and not not just from from a playing point of view, from a from an experience point of view, and um, and, and an attitude point of view. You know, two two boys that have played in the Premier League. You know, Tom uh, has has, uh, has played all his football in 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 the, in the Premier League. So, and I think when we look at the the age of the group, it's a pretty young group. I think average age is 23 into that group. So they'll raise that, um, not in a negative way because they're both good guys. Uh, but they'll give us that vital experience when the season kicks on and kicks into uh, in, into full full force. City Peck showing now why you kept him here and didn't send him out on loan. We had a decision regarding every one of them, whether it's Femme, whether it's City Peck, um, whether it's Louis Marsh. Um, there's, a, there's always a reason behind um, them staying or, or them going. So we have to look after ourselves first and foremost, Adam, making sure that we're right and we're our strongest. So we, we did with uh, with uh, with all those players mentioned and. Brooksy coming in and, and playing in the position that he's played, I think that's been you know excellent for for him and uh, and for us to work with him in that position. Uh, impact that he he made when he came on the be- came off the bench on on Saturday was great and Femi as well. So um, yeah, there's always a decision and a reason behind everything we do. In terms of City, do you feel like his schooling at Arsenal, what he's since done here, has kind of given him the the mentality to to slip into first team football, maybe a bit bit better than others? Well, our blast has not done bad, so he's had a Sheffield United <laughs> uh, background. So let, listen, you know, you, you, whatever background you, you you you've got is 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 decided internally for me, not not always about what you know the. Um, Curriculum or the values of a football club—it's what's like inside you, internally. And uh, and the boy is a, a winner, is a fighter, um, and you've seen that uh, in 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 in, uh, in in bundles of situations already. Um, we've seen it a, a, a lot longer. 
um, even my first time here when he first came in, we knew what we were getting. So um, brave decision by him and his family as well to come out of Arsenal um, and uh, and go and try and play first team football as quickly as possible. And he sees his pathway here, and, and we're delighted to have him. And, and obviously, he's got off to an excellent start this season.